Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about how to entertain a naught to six months old. So if you are a parent-to-be or you are a new parent, then this is perfect for you. This video is also in collaboration with the beautiful SJ Strum. SJ has a YouTube channel which talks about all different aspects of motherhood. There is loads of tips and advice on there and she is also the queen of baby names. She is also the mum of three beautiful children, Freddie who is eight, Finn who is four and Evelina who is one. So her video is going to be all about how to entertain a one-year-old. So please make sure that you go across and check out SJ's channel after you've watched this one. Make sure that you show her some love and let her know that I sent you. Hi everyone, I'm SJ and this is my daughter Evelina. She is my third baby <laughs> since she turned one. She has not stopped, she's running around everywhere and it is hard to entertain them, isn't it? And I'm so happy to be on Sarah Jane's channel because we love following Sarah Jane and Ella and if you would like to hop over to our channel, we are sharing some ideas of how to entertain your older baby. We've been playing all day and she's ready for bed. You're going to wave the night. Bye bye. See you soon guys. Hope you're over on our channel. Take care. Bye. But yes, let's get straight into this video. So first of all, I want to say that SJ actually recommended a book to me and it's this one here, Baby's First Skills. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Uh, but I went and got it straight away and I'm so glad I did. It's really, really good. It kind of breaks down things uh, month by month to what your baby is developing that particular month, what kind of act activities are good for them. So definitely I would recommend this. So I'm going to go right back to when your baby is a newborn. Now obviously at this phase they are sleeping and eating and that's pretty much it. They can't see in colour at this particular point in time and um, that does come a little bit later but there are still things that you can do to entertain your baby and to really help with their development and that is things like getting really nice and close to them and making faces at them, showing them bold colours, um, they might like to look at lights and things like that but their, their vision is quite limited so you, you do have to make sure that it's a little bit closer when it comes to newborns. Obviously you can make noises to them, different things like that but you will see that as they start to grow they will start developing new skills and they'll start seeing further and hearing more and things like that. So I'm going to talk a bit more about that now. So my daughter Ella is five and a half months at the moment and I'm going to go through a few things that I do to entertain her and that she really likes and that hopefully your little ones would like too. The first one is reading to them. Now obviously they can't read <laughs> at the moment but they can look at really nice bold colourful books. It's also really good for them to listen to you reading to them and they're just looking at the pictures and the colour uh, the colours and different things like that. It's also really good if you get the soft books. I like to give Ella those soft books because they have like crinkle paper in there, different textures and it's just really good on all the senses to just let them look at these books and have a play around with them. They'll probably end up in their mouth at some point but that's absolutely fine. It's all part of their exploration. The next one is tummy time. Now I kind of combine tummy time with giving them a book and this is really great because at the same time as stimulating them on a visual basis you are also helping them with the development of their head and neck muscles and their chest muscles. Tummy time is really good for them because it really helps them when it comes to them crawling. They're really just getting everything ready until that point. I remember when Ella was born I was really confused about out when to do tummy time and how often and really when they are newborn I think certainly for us we found that when Ella was laying on her on our chest she would lift her head up anyway so that was a form of tummy time it wasn't until she was about 
three or four weeks that we actually started laying her on her front when she was on a mat so that she could start lifting her head up um, but I would definitely say especially in the last four weeks or so Ella has got really really good at this so like I say she's five and a half months now so around the four four and a half months she really got good at this skill and she's really starting to look around as she is uh, doing her tummy time so in the beginning you only want to do this for a couple of minutes um you know a minute or so when they're really young and then you can do it for a little bit longer um as they get older not all babies like tummy time so don't worry if as soon as you put them on their tummy they start crying just leave them you know for 30 seconds a minute and just keep building it up and they will eventually start to uh, be a bit more comfortable with tummy time if you do find that your baby is struggling with tummy time a little bit i found that this was really really good um it just takes a little bit of pressure off it elevates them slightly so they're not quite so flat um, and it just really helps to um, get their neck muscles working as well as being really pretty and having um, different stimulation aspects to it. So this was from Mother Care, but you can get different ones. I'll leave a link in the description box below um, of where you can find something like this. So the next one is Rattle Toys. Ella absolutely loves these, especially the hard ones. I have a few of them. Um, I've just picked up one like this just recently. And these are good on different levels. They are colourful a lot of them so that's good for their visual development they are noisy so that's good for their audio development um, and it just kind of keeps them entertained and also as with everything these days it also goes into her mouth and because this one has this particular one has ridges on and most of them will have ridges it's really good for um, teething toys as well so this will keep her entertained for maybe a good five ten minutes at times and she really enjoys just rattling it around and playing with it this particular one here is a munchkin one and it also sort of moves around so as she's playing it with it it changes shape and things which is really good because you can see her looking at it and trying to figure out what is going on there so it's definitely stimulating her a lot Another thing to do is continue with your facial expressions. So when they are really, really young, you will be pulling faces at them, smiling at them, and as the weeks go by, you will notice that when you smile at them, they will actually smile back. These facial expressions are really, really good to do. It just gets them used to looking at different faces, and they also find it really, really funny. So continue with your facial expressions because they, it's a really nice interaction between yourself and your baby. Also, when you're pulling faces, you want to talk to your baby as much as you can. As they get older, it's really important that you repeat their name to them so that they start getting used to certain things. You might point to certain things and call it something. Obviously, at not to six months they're not going to be able to say those words or particularly recognize them but they will start recognizing objects so with those objects if you put words to them then gradually they will learn them it's also really important that when you are talking to them if they talk back allow them that time to talk back to you and then just keep talking back to them and almost having a conversation it will not make any sense you might just be making up what you say to her, I kind of say a lot to Ella, oh really? Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> um, and she really loves it and she will really, really try and talk back to me. She obviously knows what she wants to say. I have not got a clue, but it's really cute. <laughs> what are you saying? Hello, hi. Are you going to say hi? Are you going to say hi? <laughs> And then the last thing I want to talk about is overhead toys. So when your uh, baby is on a play mat or in a bouncer, they often have the um, overhead toys which are hanging above them. These are really good if they are bright, if they are noisy, they might have crinkle paper, they might have a little bell in there, they might be a rattle, anything that has um, different levels to it. So nice and bright and colorful. Uh, makes a noise and is close by to them so that they can touch it. 
is really excellent for them. I find that these types of things are actually a godsend because um, if I need to do anything, if I want to tidy a room or if I need to get ready, I will lay her on a play mat or sit her in a bouncer and it will keep her entertained for a while. What I have found with Ella though is as she is getting older, she is not wanting to lay back as much. She's wanting to try and sit up. She almost does like crunches as if she's laying down and she wants to sit up. She can't sit up on her own. Um, as such, she can if she's still, but as soon as she moves or waddles, she just kind of falls to the side. But I have this really cool little chair. It's like a bumbo, but it's the mama's and papa's version. And I thought it was really big, good because it has a tray on the front. So I use this when I am feeding her. And it's also got an activity um, like center on the front as well. So things like balls and things that swing round. Again, really nice bold patterns and noisy things things and she absolutely loves to sit and play on this again she might only be in there for three to five minutes but it's really good stimulation for her and it just gives me three to five minutes of being able to use my hands and getting something done so they are all my suggestions and tips for how to entertain a naught to six month old I really hope that you found them helpful I know that before I had Ella and when Ella was first born I was really conscious about the fact of trying to stimulate her in the right ways so I really hope that you find this helpful don't forget to pop across to SJ's video now out and watch her video all about how to entertain a one-year-old. If you have any suggestions of yours that you would love to share about how you entertain your baby then please leave them in the comments below. I would love to read them and I'm sure others would too. But thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos and click that bell button because you will get a notification of when a new one goes live. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again soon. Bye.